We're going to check the homogeneity variance with two different tests. The first one's going to be a t-test. So I'm looking at gender. Ones are females, twos are males. Let's see if there's a significant difference in the number of arrests between the males and females. So the IV is gender with two levels, male and female, and the DV is arrests. That's the number, that's the measurement that everybody has with them. So we're going to go to analyze, compare means, independent samples because they're independent groups, males and females. Our test variable is your DV. That was whatever was measured, whatever the numbers actually represent. And gender is our grouper. We're going to define group one and group two with one and two. Make it easy cheesy. Don't care there. Boom. So this is simply looking at the test of homogeneity variance. That's the Levine's test. That's this guy right here. For the t-test, look at the Levine's test. If this sigma value, p-value, was less than 0.05, then you violated that assumption. Let me say that again. If the sig value for the Levine's test of homogeneity variance is less than 0.05, then you have violated that assumption. This is greater than 0.05, so the variances were relatively the same. That's what you're looking for. And, and you can tell by looking at the standard deviations. Remember, the variance is simply a, a calculation. It's a number. And if you take the square root of the variance, you get the standard deviation. So they're not exactly equal, but they're not that far apart either. So that's how you find homogeneity of variance in a t-test. I'm going to show you how to do the one-way ANOVA real quick as well. Please hold. So I'm going to see if there's a significant difference in education levels, right? That's our IV, one IV education levels with six different levels. And when it comes to annual income, okay, that's our DV. So we'd simply go to analyze general linear model univariate. And what did I say? Annual incomes. That's our DV. That's physically measured in everybody. Our fixed factors is the education levels. And even though it is ordinal, because there's only six different groups, you can use it like that if you want. And let's see, I'm just going to do a real quickie here. I just want the homogeneity variance test. Okay, that's the, again, that's the Levine's test. That's what checks for homogeneity variance. So another way of thinking of homogeneity variance is the spread of each data set should be relatively the same. Okay, and here's the Levine's test. And because it's not less than 0.05, the sig value is not less than 0.05, you do not reject the null. So in other words, it did not violate the assumption of homogeneity variance. Last little shortcut here is you want a small p-value for the actual t-test, the f-test, the correlations, whatever. You want a small p-value that tells you that the relationship or the difference is significant and you found something. But when you're checking the assumptions, you do not want a small p-value because if you have a small p-value there, that means you violated that assumption. So that's it. MGZ out.